This is chapter 9, problem 5, which says, many, many people mistakenly believe that the astronauts that orbit the Earth are above gravity. Calculate G for space shuttle territory, 200 km kilometers above the Earth's surface. Earth's mass is 6 times 10 to the 24 kilogram, and its radius is 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters, 6,380 kilometers. Your answer is what percentage of 9.8 meters per second squared? So first of all, here's the space shuttle on the surface of the Earth, and then space shuttle, and notice that I have 6 um, 1,380 kilometers here, and then I move it out 200 kilometers, so 6,580 kilometers. That's where the space shuttle is, and gosh, it's just a little bit further from, from the Earth, so definitely um, g, the acceleration due to gravity, should be almost the same, um, just a little bit less. Okay, let's do the calculations, and I need more space here. First, I'm going to calculate the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface, and that would be mass of the Earth times mass of the space shuttle divided by the radius of the Earth squared, and that equals mass times acceleration, and then again the mass of the space shuttle is dividing out, so A equals G M of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth, and this is where I plug in the numbers, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared, pretty bad unit for the gravitational constant, times the mass of the, U of the Earth, which they give us in the problem as 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, divided by the radius of the Earth, which they give us in the problem as 6.38 times 10 to the 6 meters, and that needs to be squared. And now I plug this in on the calculator. So that was 6.67, and then on my graphing calculator I use this little e here for 10 to the power, so 10 to the negative 11 times 6 e24 divide by, I'm going to put a parenthesis around the radius because I need to square it, otherwise it would screw it up somehow. Close the parentheses and square that, and I come up with the expected 9.8 rounded. It looks, looks a little high, but, but they used a 6 point O here, um, where a 5.98 gets a little bit closer to the value. In any case, we come up with 9.8 meters per second squared. I had to extend the page a little bit here, so A equals 9.8 meters per second squared, which was expected at the Earth's surface. Now, two and a kilometers up, here's where we would come up with so this one is on the surface um, in space shuttle territory we would come up with A equals G M of the Earth divided by radius of the Earth plus 200 kilometers squared so that equals all the stuff that's up there, except a little bit of minute, times 10 to negative 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared. And I need more space, so times 6 times 10 to the 24 kilograms divided by 6.38, no, in this case 6.58 times 10 to the 6 meters, and that will be squared. And I'm going to go through the motions here in calculating it, but, and then I will show that there's actually a quicker way, so let me do this first, and I'm going to show the quicker way. So, 
go to the calculator. And I could type this in all over again, but here I have the comfort of just hitting second entry, and some scientific calculators do that too. You can just go back to the last equation. And here all I have to do is put a 5.8 there, 6.58, and there we go, 9.2 meters per second squared. So A equals 9.2 meters per second squared. By the way, I forgot the dimensional analysis. Um, the meter squared over here d um, divides with the meter squared over here. One of the kilograms divides here, which means we have Newton over kilogram, and I said previously that's the same as meters per second squared. Um, it says what percentage is that? Well, the percentage is 9.2 divided by 9.8 and that on the side comes out to 94 percent so quite appreciably why do they not feel that well because they're in free fall and just like uh, somebody jumping on an airplane before the parachute opens um, or if somebody cut the wire in on, on an elevator, you'd be in free fall, you don't feel it, you're kind of floating, but you do know that you're falling and the same thing as in a space shuttle. So they feel weightless, but they still have 95% of their gravity. Okay, here's the quick way of doing it. Take the original 6.38 or 6,380 kilometers and divide by the new 6580 kilometers kilometers are dividing and let's see 6380 divide by 6580 and that's 0.97, um, so um, the radius has increased by 3%. Um, I put these in a, a different order here because the radius is at the, is at the bottom of, of the equation. That's why I divided it the way I did. Um, but the radius goes in squared, so I square this number and I come up with 0.94, which is 94%. So this one squared then comes out to 0.94 and again I square this um, because it says square right here on the gravitational law so 0.94 94% of gravity and then I multiply 0.94 times 9.8 meters per second squared and we know that already that is 9.2 meters per second squared so that would be the quicker way just add 200 kilometers here, divide the two numbers, square it, and we come up with the um, decimal or the percentage.